Hey all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, it's the world away, and we now got pack 3 of Agora models, build the Terminator. Now this build certainly is coming along. Let's just show you and give you a review of what we've already done in packs one and two. Uh, as you can see, we've done some components for the arm here. Uh, we've got some of the tendons and the muscles here. We've also got the hand uh, with all the finger fixes already provided by Agora model. So uh, no problems putting the hand together. It looks really good, doesn't it? And uh, obviously the most impactful thing we got here is the head. Uh, we are actually gonna be working on the head to start off with. Uh, we're gonna be working on this section here in the next stage. Now in pack three, we're gonna be covering stages 21 to 30. Uh, if you wanna get hold of this yourself, you can get this from pack one. Just head on over to the Agora Models website there, agoramodels.com, and you can order this from pack one. Uh, check out some of the other things they're doing at the moment as well. Uh, obviously, I'm building the Shelby, which is on the shelf up there, which is one of the recent videos that have just come out. And I'll put a link to the last video I did of that up there. And also in September, we've got the Shelby Cobra, uh, which is a brilliant vehicle as well. And uh, obviously that's all listed on their site as well. This is available worldwide, so you'll be able to get you know, these no matter where you are in the world. If you do have any issues, then just contact the folks over at Gora Models. They have got an online chat uh, over at the website there, and they'll be able to help you with any concerns or problems that you have. But this is the Terminator. Let's get cracking. Now we are gonna need some glue in this stage. I'm just using the top cover here uh, for that uh, part that we've just got there. I'm gonna squeeze some glue in there and basically when I put glue on, I apply it just with a, a pin vise here, just with a normal dress pin in the end there. So I put that to one side. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna need this side here. This is metal, looking just like that. And we're gonna be putting these ratchets in each side. This is what the ratchets look like. One this side, and we've got four lugs the other side. We've got the same for the second one here. Looks exactly the same. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna be putting these into these four areas here on that side and exactly the same on the other side. The easiest way to do that is to get your glue and just to drop some glue just around the inside holes of each one of these metal sort of like indents here because this is what's going to hold one of these in place. Obviously make sure you've matched up the lugs correctly so they're going to fit in perfectly on there just like that. And that's what that's looking like on that side. We're gonna do the same on the other side now. So once again, just some glue just inside the rims here. One, two, three, and four. And we do the same on this. And that's all in place and that's completed on both sides. Now we can put this to one side because the next thing we're gonna to need to bring over is the Terminator head just looking like this. Now if you remember in one of the last stages we put some screws just into the side of the drawer here and here. Now we just need to put some covers on it. Now the covers come on a sprue and that's looking just like this. We need to cut these off the sprue. Now I've got some sprue cutters here. These are available in my Amazon store and I've put a link just down the bottom there. Uh, basically, if you hold the flat side of the sprue cutters towards the detail, you can cut these off and they come off really cleanly, which means you haven't got to file the detail part. So I'll get both of these off now. And what's gonna happen is, as you can see on the bottom of here, we've got a couple of lugs there. We're gonna be putting some glue just into the holes of each side here just so we can put these into place and then that will hide those screws. So once again, I'm just gonna apply that with a little bit of glue into those lugs there. There's actually four holes, but there's only two lugs that need a fixing. So it's up to you what two you put it in, but I'm gonna place that in, push it into place, and there we go, that's the first one in, looking just like that. We're gonna do the same on the other side here now, just into there. So once again, I'll tap some glue. I am actually putting glue in all four holes, even though I haven't decided what ones I'm putting them in. I actually think they go in the ones that run from top to bottom. I can't be sure, but uh, they are fitted absolutely perfectly. So I'll line this up, these pins, drop that in, just like that. 
hold it into place, and there we go, that's that cover in as well on both sides. Now, regarding the wires on the back of this, you want them to be coming out of the back of the uh, the skull or the cranium here. Um, what they've got in the pictures, they haven't got them coming out the centre here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have a quick move around of them, just so that these wires here are coming out from each side there. Now, I don't know if it's going to make a difference later on in the build, but uh, I just want to make sure I've got that right now. So that the wires are still coming out the back, but there's nothing in the center here. It may uh, make a difference later on. Uh, but bits we're interested in now are these four cavities here, here, and then down below here and here on the cranium. We're going to be putting some magnets into that. I call them magnets. These aren't magnets, but these are what magnets are actually going to stick to. So it doesn't matter what way we put these in. Uh, but what we want to do is just drop some glue just into these holes here, because we want to keep these metal stalks in place for when the magnets come on the back plate of the Terminator. Now the back plate will be coming in an issue far later on down the line. So we don't really have to worry about that yet. Um, that will probably be one of the last things that we fit, I'm guessing, uh, on this build. So I'll get those all in. And all we do is push these into place. Now you've got two thicker ones, they go at the top. So I'll put that in there. One, two, and then the thinner ones just go down the bottom. Now something I did realise is that uh, actually this wasn't meant to have been put together so I've made that really hard work for myself. Uh, basically I could have just done that like that. I didn't realise I'd actually put the uh, the cranium on. But what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to put the cranium on now. When those bits are in place like you can see there, basically this just fits over the top here. And if you can see this ledge here, this is the ledge that's important on both sides. That ledge needs to sit just over this join here. So when I put it on... Just show you what it's going to look like. I'm uh, wiggling it around a little bit. It's going to sit just like that. So as you can see, get my tweezers here. That edge there is straight on there. Now to hold this into place, what we're going to be doing is putting the faceplate on. Now the faceplate has these sort of grooves on each side, and those grooves are actually just going to go over that section just there. So if I slot this in, as you can see here, lining it up, goes over those sections, you push it into place, Make sure there's no gap, and that's going to hold everything into place there, so that that's not going to fall out. Now when that's all on, just like that, we've got two screw holes here. We've got one just here, and if you look on the other side, we've got one just the other side, underneath this wire here, just there. We need to put some screws into that. Now the screws come with this uh, pack, 2.4 millimeter screws. They look just like that, and they go in just here, like this. And that's going to keep this into place so it's not going to move anywhere. One for the other side here. Just put that into place there. Nice and tight. There we go. And there we go. That is that stage complete. Okay, this is stage 22. We're going to be connecting the uh, jaw and we're going to start to assemble the head. So I'll get these parts out. These are all metal as well, looking just like that. And we've got some plastic on a sprue here. At the bottom here, we've also got some really tiny pins. So you don't want to lose them. And the first thing we want to do is we want to cut all of these parts for the jaw tendons off the sprue. And when you've got them off, they've got two parts like this. You need to make sure that the corresponding parts are correct so they're actually facing the right way. We're actually going to just push these together, just like this, into the, the slot there. And then we're going to be putting a pin in to ensure that this is actually seated into there like that and this is able to move. So I'm just going to lie this down. This is going to be pretty tricky because the uh, pins in here are very tiny. So you are gonna need your tweezers for this. So I'll get them out, get my tweezers together, and I'm probably gonna be putting on my magnifying glasses for this to make sure that I line them up correctly. So I've got that loaded up. I'm gonna push that down through the hole there into place. Make sure it's not going anywhere, just like that. And then I'll push that together with the flat side of my tweezers to make sure that's all the way through. And then when that's on, it will stay on just like that. We're going to do the same to the other side, exactly the same. So once again, 
holding this like this, I put these two bits together like that, grab a pin, just like that, I'm going to push this, make sure the holes are lined up, certainly make things easier, hold it in, I'm going to push it in a little bit with my uh, finger first, and then drive it home with the flat end and my tweezers like that and that's the second one done and now we're going to install these into the jaw now basically they go into these holes that we can see just down the bottom there and then each section is going to go into these holes just above the cranium here and here so if i do a dry fit just to show you how these look so we put that bit in first put it up it's going to look just like that when it's in now we want to fix this into place by just putting a touch of glue just down to the point at the bottom there. So I'm going to take that out. I've got my glue together here. Put that into the hole there. Just like that. Replace it back in there. And then that will now stay in place. We do the same to the other side. So once again, I'll put this in dry fit. It's best to put the top in first like that. Make sure this bit goes up the other side there and then guide that into the hole where that's going to fit. So there we go, that's that one in perfectly there. So once again, I'm just going to take the bottom section out just enough so I can get some glue just into that cavity there, just like that. Put that back into place, hold it in, and there we go. That's the jaw tendons in on both sides. Now we don't actually use this part in this stage, but that is all there is to do in this stage. Now in stage 23, we're going to be assembling the right shoulder. So this is the right shoulder section here. Uh, this is all metal. Quite heavy parts in this section, actually. We've got one section looking just like that. Very heavy, actually. Uh, we've got a cog, which is die cast as well. Looking just like that. And we've got some screws here, there. So we want to take the shoulder assembly that we had in stage 21. And we're also going to need this section that we just received in the last stage. Quite simply, all we're going to do is going to turn this upside down and we're going to be dropping this cog section in to that cavity just there. It's going to go in this way and we're just going to drop it in. Now they want us to ensure it's orientated exactly like the picture that you can see here, which is just like that. So if I hold that in with my hand now, we're going to take the two screw holes that we've got here, we're going to line them up underneath with those two screw holes just like that. Then holding everything together here, I'm going to secure that with some three times six mil screws. These are the screws that come in this pack, just down the center there. Here's the first one. Once these are in, it won't matter about the orientation of each of the parts there. Let's do the second one. Because that can then be turned around, you see. So here's the second one going in. Make sure it's nice and tight. If you do want to continue with the orientation that we had before, you can still line that up just like that. But that's those sections in, and that's the shoulder joint on. Once we've done that, with this, that's that stage complete. Now we can put these to one side because we're actually going to start connecting the hands now to the arm. And as you can see in this section here, we've got some sprues. I'll just get this open. And we've got a ball joint to let us do that. Now the first thing we want to do is we want to take the ball joint out here and we want to connect this together. Now there's two lots of screws in here. We've got some uh, two times six mil screws, KB screws, and two times six mil screws, PB screws. Uh, the difference is normally the one's flat on the top and one's round. Now the one that's going to actually connect these bits together are the roundish ones. So this actually just pieces together like this and then we're going to be putting a screw just into the side there to hold these two bits together. Now this is going to hold the weight of the whole hand. So we want to make sure these are very tight together. So I'm making sure that's all the way in, just like that. And that's the ball joint completed. Then we're going to be bringing over the hand. And as you can see, we've already got three ball joints on here. This one's just going to be going into that section just there. It's going to be sitting on. It can only go on one way. So you rotate it round until it clips in. You want it so the screw is facing down. You don't want the screw showing on top there. And then we're going to be screwing it in on the other side with the flat sided uh, screw. 
and that's going to go in there and make sure again that this is put in really tight there we go so put the fingers back just rotate them around a little bit and that's what that looks like when that's in place now we want to take the upper assembly looking just like this with all of these uh, sort of spring tendons hanging down there and we're going to want to plug the thicker end of this into that ball joint we just put in there so I'm going to rotate that round and it will take some pushing to get this into place just like that and that's fitting perfectly then we want to put these three tendons here on the other ball joints so we've got one here I'm just going to put the springs again out the way just down the side there the second one in this side just like that and then the last one in like that so that's now looking like that and then we're going to want to attach these tendon spring joints here to the points here 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 and here on the hand to do that we need to put some little enders onto the end of the springs now they come on a sprue here and they look just like that so let's cut these all off and i'll show you how to attach them now when you cut them off you want to make sure that you've kept the stalk that's actually going to go down the springs here so all we're going to do so we're going to be applying some glue making sure that these are actually filtered out and the one that's on the very left your spring on the very left is going to go onto that finger just there now these springs to start off with if i just uh, put the others out the way here well um, i don't want to get them all confused uh, they're actually going to go into the holes that we've got just in the hands here so this is why you need tweezers to actually just thread them through so i'll thread the first spring through just like that you want to make sure there's no tangles in these and then at the end here we're going to be putting the first little sort of anchor into the spring here so i'm going to put a dot of glue just inside that spring just like that and then we'll add this section in and once that's on the end there we're going to be putting that into the first cavity of the hand which means we need to just drop some glue just into the little rectangular section that you can probably see just there i'll put this into place to show you what this looks like just like that and that's the first one in and we're going to repeat that with the other four so i'll take the second spring here push that through just like that again we're going to add the little detail just at the end here pushing that into place with a tiny bit of glue we need to put on this so i'll do that now this time I think I'm going to put the detail actually on the little part here. Push that onto the spring, just like that. And then once again, just drop some glue into the cavity here. And push that piece into place, just like that. And then that's two in place. And when they're all done, they should look just like that. In stage 25, we're going to be assembling the right shoulder. So I'll take all of these parts out, lots of parts on sprues here, and we've also got a lot of screws. So the first thing I think is best to do is just to break all of these parts from the sprue. And there we go, that's everything broken from the sprue. Now all of these parts are plastic. Uh, this section here though, is metal so I'm going to keep that to one side the first things we're going to need are just this side here and it's corresponding mate here which looks just like that this is going to be glued into the channel here to make one complete piece like that so what we do put some glue just down the center there that's one side put it on the other side as well and make sure that piece is connected flushly in there like that so as you can see that's going nowhere now if we bring over the shoulder joint that we worked on last time this piece that we've just created here is just going to go into the top section there so it's going to go face down just like that and that's that section into place now the next detail which looks just like that is just going to go into the channel next to it just there so we're going to slot that in just like that now the third detail which looks just like this is going to go into this side groove here 
and it'll only fit comfortably in one way so that's quite easy to see how that's going to go the fourth one going down here looks exactly like the part we put in second there just like that but that's going to go into this slot here and then finally on this side here we've just got this tiny squared section piece here which is just going to go in like that and once again you'll know you've got it in right because it should fit all the way flush uh, to the edge here then we want to take this large spring that we've got in this that's actually going to go into the middle there and then we've got this large shoulder joint here looking just like that which is going to i'm going to orientate it so that the detail on this section here is facing towards that section there i'm going to try and line the lugs up and then we're going to push this down into place with great force just like that and then we need to keep this together by putting in three screws here now there's two different screws in this part you want the shorter ones these are the three times six mil screws so there's the first one in the other longer screws there are eight mil screws and they're used later on so put the second one in nice and tight and finally the third one here just going into this side here now as you can see now the shoulder joint doesn't rotate on its own unless you push it down and then as you can see you can turn it that's how it works now we've got another detail to put on which looks just like this on a sprue and it's this larger section that we want here so we'll cut this off just like that and this is going to be following the shape that we've got in this detail here so when we glue this on it's going to be glued on just like that so once again it's going to drop some glue into these holes here so one just in there and again on the other side two and then we can put this piece into place just hold it for a second and then that should stay in place by itself now we're going to be putting the shoulder joint in that we had before this big heavy heavy metal piece here we've got a lug at the top that's going to line that up with the hole that we just got there so when we put this in this is going to go in kind of like that and it's going to be screwed in through this section here with the eight mil screws these are the longer ones that we had uh, in this pack and once again it does help if you've got a really long stemmed screwdriver for this and that's just going down there so that's the first one nice and tight I'll load up the second one here and that's going in the other side here nice and tight and that's that shoulder section almost complete we've got one more part to take on the sprue here which is this angular sort of pipe section here so I'll cut that off and this is going to be going into the hole in the side of the shoulder joint there and this is basically going to face face down to this detail here so it's sort of like a 90 degree angle so we'll get some glue in there make sure this is all lined up and straight and there we go that's into place there and what with this and this section here that's that stage complete now in stage 26 we're going to be connecting the right arm to the shoulder joint here these are all the parts here and we're going to need the hand joint that we worked on last time with the springs at the bottom there and the first thing we're going to do is we're actually just going to take the screwdriver just to the section that we put on last time which is holding a plate on here so i'm going to take these two screws out one and two this side so then we've got this part here which we're just going to put to one side now if i turn this over as you can see we've got a recess there which is going to accept a ratchet looking just like that like we did last time we need to glue that into place so once again I've loaded my trusty applicator for the glue up here and I'm gonna put glue in all four holes here make sure that's nice and flush in there I've pushed that into place so that's looking just like that we're going to be doing the same on the piece we've just taken off here so once again I'm going to put some glue just into these lugs here and then I'm going to push this one into place as well so it's nice and flush in there as well 
And then we're looking for a small cylinder which comes in a pack with some washers like that. So we get this cut open here, keep these screws safe from this detail here that we took off. We don't actually put that on yet. And that cylinder is just going to be going into the hole just at the end here. So I'll put that in like that. It can go all the way through, so I'm just holding it with my hand at one side for a second. Then we're going to take the upper arm assembly, which we completed in a previous issue, looking just like that. And we're going to start piecing all of these bits together. So the first one is going to be going into this hole just here on this part here. Notice that I'm still holding this cylinder in place there. Now on top of this, it wants me to put two washers. So we've got one here, in like that, and one on the other, just like that. I'm surprised they didn't want it each side, but no, they want it in just like that. Then we're going to be taking this section here, which was the top of that section that we took off. I'm going to put that over the top here to lock these parts in place. Just like that. And then we're going to screw those back in with the screws we had last time. That cylinder just fell out there, but I will put that in when we attach the next side. So let's get these screws in. One here. Nice and tight. And the other one, which is going to go in the other side here. And now we're going to feed this joint into this recess here. Looks a little bit tricky, but it will go in just like that to line it up. And then this section here is going to be going over the hole that we had here. But we need to make sure, once again, that we've got this cylinder back in again. Now the hole in the cylinder needs to face down if I've got this side up. So what I'm going to do is put this in like that. Rotate this part around to keep both of these parts in place. A little bit tricky, but just like that there. Then I'm going to turn it over because we're going to need to fix a screw to hold all of this into place. Now I've got the screws here. The screw that we need is a 2 times 10 mil screw. Now these are the longer ones in this with the thinner heads. Which look just like that. So I'll get this loaded up. And make sure this goes all the way through into that cylinder that we put on there. There we go. And we can lock that into place. Just like that. And as you can see now. The arm's almost connected. We've just got a little pivot that we need to put in the center there. And to do that, we need this part, which was the metal part for the last stage there, which is gonna be going through the other side here. Just line it up again, like this, all the way into that cavity. Make sure it's flush in there and it needs to sit flat. So I'm just revolving it around until it fits flat, just like that. Turn it over, and then we're going to put in the last of the screws that we got here, which are the thicker three times 10 mil. But these are Allen key screws, so I'm going to put that on there. And the good thing is, it comes with an Allen key just here, so I'll tighten that up with this Allen key. You will have to hold it from the bottom, otherwise, that detail is just going to pop, pop out. <laughs> now, you don't need this to be too tight, but just tight enough to hold that jaw joint in place and enable you to still be able to bend the arm here. If you can't bend the arm, you've done it too tight. So I'm just gonna loosen it up just a touch. And as you can see, that's better. I can now bend that joint. The last thing we need to do now is just hide that screw by putting this detail in here with some lugs, drop some glue into there, and then that will hide that screw forever and keep this joint nice and tidy. So I'll just line this up, make sure this is in flat, but when that's in, it's gonna look just like that. And with that, and this section here, that's all there is to do in this stage. Now in stage 27, we're gonna assemble the left and the right shoulders, looking just like this. Oh, get that open. Uh, once again, we're just gonna need, first off, the two ratchets here, because we're gonna be gluing those into place into this shoulder joint just here and here. So just like previously, we're gonna drop some glue just into these holes and get these in to both sides of this. And when they're in, they should look just like that. And we've got a couple of details on the sprue here to cut off, so I'll get those sliced off now. 
and they look just like that. Now the end that we've cut off here is just gonna go into the end here. It's actually glued into place. So what we need to do is just put some glue just onto those indents that you can see in there just like that. So we've got the glue here. That's one there. One the other side here. And then that will simply just push into place just like that. Now if I bring over the shoulder joint again, you can probably see at the bottom here, we've got this slot here. This is where this is actually gonna go. So when this goes in, it's just gonna go in this way like this, and it's gonna face towards this detail just here. So I'll show you what it looks like when it's in. Just like that, but that needs to be glued into place. And basically, with these three sections now, that's that stage complete. Now stage 28, looking just like this, has got another spring in it again. And you'll also notice we've got a plastic sleeve in this stage as well. So if I just move this all to one side, it's the plastic sleeve that I'm gonna need first. And what we're gonna do, we take over this shoulder joint we've been working on here. The plastic sleeve's actually gonna go into this section here, which looks like a, uh, a handlebars, if you like. So we're gonna be pushing that down the open end here, all the way through, just like that. We're then gonna be attaching this shoulder plate here. That's gonna be going over those sections. And it's basically gonna be going on this way so that the flat side here is facing towards the joint here. So it's gonna be going on this way like this. And then making sure that's completely lined up, we're gonna take this section here, we're gonna push it all the way through the hole that you can see there. So I'm gonna line it up just like this. And we're gonna push this through. Now this is gonna take some time because it's gotta go through that plastic joint that we just put on. So as you can see, I'm pushing it through, taking my time, trying not to push it at an angle because I'm conscious that it could break if you try to push it at an angle there. Make sure you've rotated the shoulder joint round as well so that the detail can actually fit the shape in there. And then you wanna push this completely home. Now you may find just actually using the edge of a table on this section here will help to keep this part into place. It's got a little bit of a way to go, so I'll just push that last bit in now. And there we go, that's all the way in. You can see the pin just out the other side there, and that's held that shoulder plate into place. Now we need to put just a cover on this side here so we don't see that side. That looks just like this. And this is simply just gonna glue into place over here. So I've already applied some glue to that. As you can see, that's in, not coming out anywhere. Now we don't need this part now. We can put this to one side because we're gonna be working on this cog that we've got here. Now once again, we're gonna take exactly like we did last time, just this section here, orientating it the way that we had it last time so that this is gonna sit just like that. And we're gonna repeat what we did for the last joint. So once again, I'm gonna take the joint part that we had previously, I'm gonna put this over the top here, hold that all into place, and it's gonna be held in with three times six mil screws, which are in these packs here. So I'll get them out. So there's the first screw going in nice and tight. Put the second screw in again. Again, it's not really gonna matter about the orientation of this, because you can turn it. It's just making sure that we've got this lined up for this section. You can turn it wherever you want after that, you see. And once we've done that, that's that stage complete. So we have got the uh, spare um, spring there that's gonna go into that. And obviously we've got the finished shoulder plate there. Now we're gonna work on the last stage. Okay, stage 29, once again, we've got all the details on the sprue that we're gonna to need to put into that section. So the first thing we need to do once we've opened it up is just to cut all of these details from this sprue. And this is gonna exactly mirror like last time. So once again, we're gonna take this detail here, put some glue lined up here. We're gonna put that in the channel just in the middle there, just like that. Just a little bit just on the edges there as well. And then we're gonna be putting this detail just into there, making sure it's fitting absolutely flush and flat, like that. And then we're gonna be taking the detail that we saw here. So orientated it like this, we're gonna make sure this detail here goes into the top. Push that down, just like that. The second detail, sort of like this square piece here, which is gonna fit in there, just like that. I'm just seeing which way around it goes to make sure it's flush. It should be that way, so it's flush. The third detail looks just like that, and that's gonna go this way round, in there like that. The fourth detail looks like the handlebars, and that's gonna go in just like that. 
and then the last detail here is going to go over the top just like that once again we're going to take this uh, spring just get that out of the bag and that's going to fit just over the top there and then this is all going to be held into place with this detail here again with the uh, sort of like markings on the top there these markings are good once again are going to face towards this side just here so i'm going to rotate it round line up the lugs here and then we will push this into place like that now all of this is going to be held in with the screws here which are the three times six mil screws so i've got them in here let's get them out once you've got one in you haven't got to use all of your strength to try and keep this thing together but there you go that's the first one in let's get the other two in here's the second one nice and tight and then here's the third one and that's all in place and then just like last time to actually turn this joint you push it down as you can see it turns freely in there now the final stage of this pack is very similar to the last pack we've got another detail here which is going to go onto the shoulder base plate that we've uh, just done so we'll cut this off the sprue and this once again just gets stuck on there just like that so what i'll do is i'll put some glue into these holes and we'll stick this detail into place once that's done looks just like that and then the last thing we need to do is put the shoulder joint here once again back into this section here just like that and that's going to be secured in by three times eight mil screws just through the top there so uh, i'll get that together i've already got the screws in there i'm just going to tighten them up and that will hold the left shoulder piece in place so that's both the shoulder pieces done oh, once it's folded out there that's both the shoulder pieces done and that is the end of this pack you can see why this is one of my favorite builds can't you this is <laughs> it, it, every section that you do is actually building a whole unit it's already getting really heavy it's already quite big as well uh, but that is up to pack free if you want to get this for yourself once again i've put the link down here you can go over to the agora models website and you can subscribe to this all the way from pack one all the way wherever you are in the world you'll be able to get hold of this but i really do hope you like that video if you did please remember to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already please remember to subscribe other than that take care